Are you still into it? Politics? Um, yeah, you have to be to live in America, you know, because things change every day there. You know, you just keep getting more of your rights taken away. What are the rights that you're most concerned about? Well, for me, freedom of speech, because I got a big mouth. <laughs> You know, are you following the, the Republican race? Or, you know, do, you, do you decide wh which party? Are you a Republican or a Democrat now? I, I'm kind of uh, a vote for the lesser of two evil kind of guys. And, <laughs> and it's such a disappointment watching what's happening right now. Because, you know, George Soros came out and said that Mitt Romney is just like Obama. So, I mean, what do you got there? You got Obama's mentor saying that Mitt Romney's like him and he's leading the polls now. And Newt Gingrich, who is just so completely angry right now that he's, he's just sputtering. To me, the guy that makes the most sense out of all those guys uh, is Rick Santorum. He just looked like he could be a really cool president, kind of like a JFK kind of guy. Did I, did I, I read right that you were a birther? Did I read that you called in the question where Obama was born? I read a quote, and I wasn't sure if that was accurate. The internet can't be no, believed. I have a lot of questions about him, but uh, certainly not where he was born. I know he was born somewhere else than America. Well, no, but then you were a birther if you say that. No, I'm not calling a question to it. I just, yeah. you know, it's a point. How come that keeps coming up, but no one can prove it? And don't you think that a guy who ran for the president, they would have figured that out by now? Well, how come he was invisible until he became, uh, 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 whatever he was in, in Illinois. Well, because I think a lot of politicians are invisible for the longest time, and then they have a they big have no speech. record of them, though. Well, they have a record of them. Where? What do you mean, where? In America, in Chicago, they have records. He exists. He's a person. You well, think? Yeah. And what do you mean by specifically? Well, um, there's the, the birther thing that you're saying, and, and you know, I, I want to change the subject. I don't want to talk about my president. Okay, that's cool. I'm just curious about it. But yeah. I wonder when you, as you, as you get older and you find, you know, a, a, your own voice in a different way, do you work that into your songs? Do you work it into the yeah, art? Yeah, I do. There's a song called We the People on this record that uh, completely explains what's going on. You know, when you watch uh, people have their savings stripped away and, and Wall Street run amok and, and all of these bailouts, fi $500 million given to Solyndra, when the Obama and his administration knew that it was going under, I think Jefferson was the guy that said, when the government becomes more powerful than the people, we're going to be in trouble. Well, it'll always fuel the art then, won't it? Yeah. yeah there's enough angst to go around <laughs> in there. Yeah. I guess I'm going to have to do some more homework on where Obama came from now. <laughs>